people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot wave principal i'm your host shaheen now if you have uh, missed the movement in gold and silver in last two days nothing to worry about it because we have a lot more price action to come to if you're new to the channel please go back and check a couple of videos on my channel we clearly forecasted a sharp reversal in the price of gold and silver and we have exactly witnessed a part of it so uh, you can subscribe it's a very good content i provide my content after thorough research using different methods to confirm elliott wave labeling elliott wave analysis is a very very good tool the only problem that i see it and i repeatedly talk about is there is no way to confirm the elliott wave labeling identifying patterns uh, identifying waves uh, labeling them and forecasting what is expected to happen in future is the best way to uh, look at price structure look in a different time degrees and I'm going to talk about it more later but uh, right in front of us is gold chart and we are going to look at silver chart in a bit and we want to see what's expected to see it happen so all I wanted to say is that this move was not a surprise at least for my subscribers so what's expected to happen we have uh, a lot more information if you even have seen my previous content today video is going to be very special one because I have come up with another insight into the data that's in front of us on that's actually plotted on the chart and that insight is very important in the long-term trend of gold and silver so if you are interested in gold and silver do not miss a single word of it I'm I'm seeing it because I'm not gonna say extra information every single bit of information that you get is going to be objective and it's going to be clear and I'm not going to talk talk gibberish so let's start first of all as I said earlier that the move that we said it have seen in gold is not a surprise a reason is because we were expecting something like this before starting from this top we have clearly a five wave structure wave one and two wave 3 and wave 4 and wave 5 and I'm considering this as a very awkward A, a B and a C pattern and what I'm saying that the reversal the more time we spend in the ending diagonal pattern or even the fifth wave structure let's say the fifth wave isn't is extended we can see that the price movement is a reversal is stronger so this trend line if you guys are interested you can use the trend line there was a trend line that we were using earlier it was not that accurate but this one is accurate we can see that right now but that trend line was good and good enough to provide us information important information that we are within the correction and not an, an impulse wave of the move upward so what's happened after uh, let me uh, quickly label this so we can actually see what's happening we here's the start of the pattern and wave two and wave three wave four and wave five so we can consider this whole price movement as uh, a five wave structure uh, followed by a three wave structure followed by another five wave structure so we can consider it as an a here is the start of the structure once again here is an a, a b and a c structure and this is what i'm looking at right now so if you have missed the price of gold dropping suddenly do not worry about it we have a lot more price action to come to and this is something which i have been forecasting for good two three weeks right now and we have seen a reversal silver has been in a very tight range even tighter than, than gold itself and what what we're seeing here is since we have seen a five wave structure uh, we are expecting a five wave structure downward and in that case right now in next few days i'm expecting that we are to continue movement down or downward there will be some corrections definitely but I'm expecting that probably somewhere around over here uh, we can see a pullback right over here if you want to join the trend over here that's good enough but right now we are a hundred dollar away from the top so that's that's your point but we are still going to move downward this is what my analysis is saying we might see a little pullback all right whenever the pullback happens on a smaller time frame you want to join and this trend this leg is still remaining so I'm giving you perspectives that this leg kind of we are going through this leg right now all right and when this leg is complete or you can actually look at this one right over here okay this leg is more right now uh, something that we are going to see right over here because we are in the early stages of the trend we are going to see some pullback and the continued iron over here so on a smaller time frame we are completing a five wave structure 
I'm not going to discuss the 15 minute time frame uh, if that helps we can actually wait for a pullback and when that pullback happens we can join the trend downward and that the first leg is still remaining let's say that your trading style does not allow for jumping in in the middle of the trend because we are quite far away from the top uh, the stop losses and I know at this moment the trading setup is not looking attractive in that case what we can do is instead of just uh, preparing for this one we can wait for a pullback like this so right over here so you can wait for a pullback right over here and then we can trade the next move downward all right and then we can wait for the pullback and then wait for another move downward so let's have a look let me delete this and this is general guideline so we can actually see what's happening this is a, once again a general guideline uh, once the the prices start correcting we'll have some more idea so this is what we are looking right now So this is what we're looking right now so that it gives you an idea where we headed for our aim is a major move downward this one like this one so we're considering it as an a a b and a c structure and now you might be thinking i have seen this before and although we have uh for forecasted the move downward successfully um muhammad or shaheen have actually discussed this before and uh, what's new new thing is that we have I have insight on a larger pattern and we are going to discuss that inside in a bit after discussing silver let's have a look at silver and see what's expected in silver now this is a chart that I have shown you guys uh, previously and this chart has worked wonders for us we have seen a lot of sideways pattern in this this is a daily time frame so we have seen a lot of tight ring movement and finally silver has moved downwards we are expecting a clear five wave structure so this gives you an idea where we are looking for However, I'm thinking that we have gone a little farther. And the reason I'm going to come up with why I'm thinking that I might have to shrink the fifth wave a little more. And I'll, I'll give you a reason in a bit. Okay, this is what we are expecting in just the general guideline in a 5 wave structure. We are seeing a 5 wave structure correction followed by another 5 wave structure downward. Okay, hope this helps and then we are going to see look na on the night next time frame uh, on the larger swing i'm going to discuss in a bit just give me a moment so right now silver is giving a very good idea i think we can actually trade and we can wait for gold as well you can jump right over here and you can aim for the next four five hundred dollars on the downside it's a good i would say three to five months trading setup i would maybe three months trading setup on the bearish side and it's going to give you potential very amazing targets in and you will you'll be able to say that you captured a major swing on gold and then you can say that you captured a major swing in silver as well this is important if you want to trade a 15 minute chart or let's say if you want to only trade this section of the wave you can definitely do so but i think advisable will be we need to see a correctional structure as soon as we see a correctional structure whether it's a flat correction or a double zigzag correction we can actually confidently join that there is still remaining part of the this part of the trend so your choice what you want to do now I have uh, spent time I and I clearly say it from time to time that Elliott wave analysis is amazing all you need to do is after studying Elliott wave analysis you need to find a method that kind of improves the probability of the right labeling I have studied Elliott wave analysis almost for 10 years right now. So uh, I know those nitty, very um, neat tools that you, are, you can draw five energies, you can draw, um, you can say, okay, we are going to see more uh, subdivisions. We can say that we have um, parallel channels and all sorts of techniques are available. Whatever works for you is great. For me, it is WD GAN analysis. I studied WD GAN analysis and I found that the overlapping there there are over overlapping characteristics in both for example wd gan analysis whatever it is and we are not discussing wd gan analysis actually points the direction and then you can say okay 
Elliott wave all analysis is also pointing the direction and then in that case you can actually say with a higher probability that this is the labeling that expected to happen in Elliott wave analysis. As far as WD GAN research is concerned, I have spent a lot of time on that research and that research is not um, shown to you. All is shown to you is, is, the res is the result of that research and that's what, this is what I'm presenting to you right now. So what happens after this? Now, uh, as I said, that I spend, I constantly spend time on uh, gold and silver and see what's expected to happen. Let me delete that. So we'll have some idea, okay? And this is even larger degree. So we can actually go ahead and we can delete that clearly. We need to delete that so we can actually start seeing larger picture. We need to change it to, uh, yeah, I would say intermediate is better okay and we need to go on a weekly time frame and then we need to increase it so there are a couple of possibilities here the larger time frame analysis that we have here is a lot of people are um, coming up with their own explanations and then once again um, you know they have their reasons for it so a couple of possibilities are here that we have seen the wave 4 complete and this is a 5 wave structure and we have completed W we have completed X and we right now going through Y as soon as Y is complete we are to see prices moving upward this is one possibility however things are looking a little different the way prices are actually behaving uh, means look at this this part this has gone deeper than we were expecting that this would actually stay around this region but it has gone a little deeper than uh, we thought so so this is no surprise it means that prices are right our um, labeling or identification of the pattern seems wrong at this point so two possibilities we have completed wave 4 we have completed wave 5 for right over here uh, I mean 5 wave structure followed by 3 wave structure as soon as that's complete right over here uh, right over here we are to go upward in a bullish way another possibility is that and this is what now the insight has come to me is that we are actually completing an ending diagonal in wave C of wave 4 okay let me delete that actually and let me use that in that case we are saying the second possibility is that wave this is wave A of 4 this is wave B of 4 this is wave C of 4 okay this is the second possibility top being right over here this being top and this is a second possibility and the whole reason is because the prices have gone way deeper so the structure looks a little I we are clearly seeing an A, a B and C structure there is no denying it but we are expected prices to go jump all the way over here so this is one possibility which is in front of you that I'm right now more kind of going towards this side okay and this is in that case this is not a 5 wave structure we can consider it as W X and Y or you can consider it as a W X Y X and Z so we have triple zigzag on the upside we have 3 wave f a structure a 3 wave structure and a 5 wave structure okay which is an expanded flat now a lot of you guys are gonna say the, on the smaller details but the larger pattern that we are seeing is kind of looking to me like this one the way prices are behaving and I'm gonna come back in a bit and on, we're gonna see what's expected to happen on us on a, on these swings that we are seeing right now we discussed that but I'm saying there is a more probability of this happening right now in that case now we need to see what's happening on a smaller time frame so we can delete that and we can say this is not a 5 wave structure we can say that this is a 3 wave structure we can consider it as a W W and and X as a triangle and Y and we can go the start of the structure right over here and we can consider it as a cycle degree and one load degree uh, is right over here 
I would say primary degree seems fine. Okay. And then we consider it as an A, uh, I mean a W, an X, and a Y, and an X, and a Z right over here. So you get an idea. I don't have a W, X, Y, Z pattern here. I think I have right over here. I have to go and yeah, here it is. So you can say that we have the start of the pattern here. We have a W, we have an X, we have a Y, we have an X, and we have a Z right over here. Okay, it's of the same level. Well, let me say, I like the intermediate is fine. And we can do that intermediate too. Just don't worry about the degree at the moment. And the reason is because we can call it uh, and what's expected right now is that we have a three-wave structure, a three-wave structure what does that mean? That we have a five-wave structure on the downside on a weekly time frame. In that case we can definitely call it this way. ABC is fine. We can consider that this is a five-wave structure start. This is the start of five-wave structure. We have wave one, we have wave two, we have wave 3 right over here uh, I mean right over here and we'll see wave 4 right over here and then we'll see wave 5 right over here okay and this is going to be once again the same degree as we have like intermediate degree okay and then we can change the color later if you want so right now what's happening is that let me delete this line for now we can see that we have an A right over here a B right over here and this C is happening or definitely happening but this is wave 3 of an ending diagonal and this would be wave 4 of an ending diagonal and then this will be wave 5 of an ending diagonal targeted right over here so initially uh, we were thinking that there is a possibility when prices come down we are to see going upward now with the new insight there is a probability we are saying that this structure has not even completed yet we are going to see definitely the lower link but we have to come up what's happening after that and a jump upward and come downward in that case a lot of people are going to miss the larger swings and we were able successfully to actually forecast the previous swing this swing this swing so this is quite a bit of insight in uh, an Elliott wave analysis and let's see how things go. A couple of possibilities we are looking for is that the structure would be complete right over here and would go sharply up and the second probability which is right now our top priority is the first priority is that we are considering this as an ABC structure that likely so we are considering this as wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5 is also going to be an ABC structure. So this kind of helps you see where things are headed okay in that case one thing is really interesting and that I wanted to bring it to its, your attention too we can definitely use this okay this is an important tool which allows you to see how far you are away from a guided price action okay and we can say right over here that this is we are seeing in general we can move it a bit forward right over here so this gives you an idea right over here so that we are 1 and 2 A B and C of 3 so this structure right now and you look at the price you realize there's a lot more price movement nothing to worry about even if you have missed the top $100 we are expected to go at 1450 which is around right now $415 away so it's right now on a larger scale, one to one ratio to four ratio of uh, loss to profit, profit ratio in next three months. And then in your own trading setup, if you are a retail trader, you will be see that you have actually enjoyed the larger trend downward. So I hope that I was of any um, help. I'm pretty sure that the research I'm presenting to you guys is not copied. It's my own research and uh, you can sure there's a lot of work goes in behind uh, in, in going through this now we have a lot going what how did I do just give me a moment I press the delete button we need to uh, aid you to watch list and I would say minus yeah 
why did I delete that I need to move it all the way over here and I need to move these lines right now and we see need to see what's happening on a on silver as well now people are more concerned then what is silver doing if gold is going down in that manner what does that mean for silver it means that we were expecting much sharper I mean much deeper movement in silver it means we have to cut our target by 20% I would say okay so we were bearish on silver that kind of also gives an idea that we are still going on in a bearish way okay and we can definitely use this one starting from over here because I was expecting when moves this goes down we are going all the way down over here in this region now we have kind of idea that we are a little far away from the target our first target should be right over here okay in this way we can say that we are going through an ending diagonal ABC structure we are kind of seeing a wave 1 right over here wave 2 right over here A B and C of wave 3 wave 4 and wave 5 okay let me draw that quickly for you we'll keep on revising this behavior um, as so this is our right now I'm looking at it wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 which is uh, we'll draw another swing wave 4 and wave 5 within that wave 3 we are considering that we are have an A a B and a C structure okay so hopefully this helps and this will uh, gives you an idea where we exactly are in a larger pattern once you get an idea you become confident of how you want to trade because trading is not simple just by looking at the direction you need to see what is expected to happen on a larger time frame and this is what you're expecting on a larger time frame you're expecting that we are to see a bottom somewhere around 1550 we are right now seven dollars away from the bottom happening in silver I hope that I was of some help to you if you like the content please press the thumbs up button um, put messages text I try to respond to every single message and at least I'm reading every single one of them if I'm not responding it means just I'm thinking about a response and I cannot think of a response or whatever else is going on so we are this is the ending diagonal that I'm talking about in silver wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye